What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we received update 1.21. This update was around 20 gigs on PS4, 30 gigs on Xbox, and 30 gigs on PC. If you own just Warzone and you don't own the base game, this update is going to be around 26 gigs total. Um, some things that did change with this, there's a lot of bug fixes. There was a new playlist update added in, of course a couple new maps, and a lot of weapon nerfs and buffs. I'm going to link the patch notes down in the description in their entirety. I'm not going to go over every single detail. I'm going to go mainly over the high points, mainly, mainly the uh, weapon changes and some of the new things added into the game. Of course, we have a new gunfight map. We have the new map Hard Hat added into multiplayer. So when it comes to the multiplayer playlist, we have Realism Mosh Pit being brought back, Reinfected Ground War, Core Ground War, Blueprint Gunfight, of course, Mosh Pit in the new uh, gunfight mode and also, or the new gunfight map, and also Hard Hat 24 7. When it comes to Warzone, BR solos, trios, quads, blood money quads have been added in. Also in Warzone, there's a new armor box which is av available via loot on the ground or at the buy station, and this will resupply the entire team's armor. They also added most wanted contracts back in. When it comes to loot, they have changed some things. They added the new SKS into Warzone and added five new blueprints, the AX-50 Epic, the Kilo 141 Legendary, the Foul Epic, the MP7 Legendary, and the Og Epic. When it comes to the Gulag, they have added in six ARs and four SMGs. So now when you're in the Gulag, you will have the option to either have the Kilo 141, the M4, the AK-47, the M13, the SCAR, the Ram 7, the MP5, the Og, P90, or the Striker 45. When it comes to general fixes, like I said, guys, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. A lot of this was changes for the watches not showing the correct time when players were using certain watches, exploits for XP and hardpoint, tons of out-of-map out exploit fixes across tons of different maps in the game. That seems to be a pretty common thing now. They seem to have a lot of exploits each and every update with various maps. Those have all been fixed so far. Uh, with the ones that we have known about there may be some new ones still in there of course some things seem to pop up after each update with these map exploits but let's go ahead and hop into the weapon changes the Ronetti got a reduced the max ammo reserve also the mk3 burst mode got a hip fire spread increase and the M uh, mk3 burst mode also also got a small decrease to damage the foul got a decrease to ads time the scar got a decrease to ads time all l all lmgs have a lower ammo count for a reload warning on belt fed uh certain belt fed lmgs also a reduced penalty for holding br your breath for too long with the sniper scope they fixed the level 34 unlock of the renetti showing the merc 4 grip also the vlk rogue they got a in got an increase in rate of fire increase to close range damage for the 12 gauge also an increase to damage range to the six inch Revolt barrel. The Holger 26 got an increase to movement speed, a increase to ADS time, and a slight re recoil reduction. That gun is not really one of the best guns in the game, since it is a kind of weapon that came with uh, with DLC or you know kind of an update. This was an update weapon that came in after the game was released. The Holger 26 is not really a great weapon; it's a decent weapon. Now with these improvements, it may be a little bit better. We'll have to get in the game and kind of play around with it to see how good it is. When it comes to attachments. The FTAC 8.98 Spitfire Barrel got improved ADS time, faster movement, and reduced hip fire spread. The XRK Ultralight Barrel got improved ADS time. 30 round magazines got reduced sprint out time, improved ADS time, faster movement, and improvement to hip fire sp spread profile. The no stock attachment got increased sprint out time, faster movement, Reduced hip fire spread and improvement to ADS time. And the stippled grip tape got improvements to ADS time. So not only did some weapons get changed, a lot of the attachments that you may use got changed as well. And most of these attachments, for the most part, are just kind of overall were mainly buffed, which is a good thing because I felt like the no stock attachment really needed a increase in sprint out time. It still felt a bit slow compared to running a normal stock in game. There are also some fixes for Warzone itself, like fix for voice chat sometimes not working, reduce the RPG kill radius for players with full armor, which I know a lot of people were complaining about, that RPG is pretty OP at times, remove the option to squad fill when in BR solos, and a few other small changes within Warzone, but nothing really too too big besides the ones I just mentioned. Of course, Special Ops and Special Operations Survival got some changes as well. 
If you do play Spec Ops, like I said, guys, all this is listed down in the description. That is pretty much everything, guys, within these patch notes. Like I said, there's a few bug fixes that I not, did not talk about that are small fixes. If you guys would like to read over those, like I said, everything's listed down in the description below. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about all the changes to the weapons and to the attachments. And, of course, the addition of new things into Warzone weapon-wise and to the Gulag itself. Let me know if you played the new map Hard Hat. Let me know your thoughts on it. And, of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.